You know, one of the joys of traveling to a European country like Germany is quite simply eating. If you've ever taken in the aromas and flavors of a German bakery, well, you know what I'm talking about. Well, Ken Wilshire discovered you don't have to travel that far to enjoy an authentic Bavarian bakery. Just drive up to Clarksville and to a place called Silky's. Right in the heart of Clarksville, there's a little bit of Germany. And it was brought here by an exceptionally talented woman, Silke Tyler. This one here is the regular, and this one here is the decaf. She's the owner of Silke's Bakery and Cafe. She started her career as an artist, and a very good one too. But her love for the art of baking took her from pallet to pan. It started out with reading about it in some books, and um, by the time I was done, I had this huge library of books, and then also I went to visit friends in Germany, and I also had the opportunity to bake with bakers in uh, Austria, and they gave me their books that they actually studied, so I really was fortunate to have that kind of support and to be able to learn the skills uh, in a non-traditional way, but yet learn the true skills. I think there's definitely a blend uh, inspired uh, by artisan bakeries here in the United States. And the trend toward making fresh breads and pastries here in the United States is just such a wonderful trend to follow. So I was definitely inspired by that. It kind of escalated. Friends of mine wanted the bread and so I started baking for them and then their friends and starting to bake in our little kitchen and that just didn't work anymore. So my husband and I decided let's go ahead and uh, do this a little bit bigger. And so we started uh, baking bread uh, from our bakery that we attached onto the house. And so it grew ever since then and so now we have our cafe and uh, we have different restaurants that we deliver to in Clarksville and in Nashville. It's basically a 24-hour thing because if we're not doing anything here then uh, we bake out there in Woodlawn and the baking starts in the evening because we want to have fresh bread for our customers in the morning and it basically takes half the night you know to uh, mix the bread, shape the bread and bake the bread. And then the pastries are baked fresh here at, on location and our pastry girl starts at four in the morning, uh, starting with the croissant dough, making that fresh from scratch, uh, so this way customers, when they come in in the morning, can have their fresh croissants. The sign outside is such a simple one for the world, or I should say old world, of foods you'll find inside. Silka has created a menu that has something for just about everyone who comes in. But it's the bread that captures Silka's passion and pride. We make a lot of the German breads, but we also make the European pastries, um, and some of the breads are European also, so I like to consider it actually an artisan bakery um, because everything is shaped by hand. Uh, it's all natural, uh, partly organic, and we still kept the organic part because that's very important to us. Um, and so that's usually a sign of an artisan bakery is that everything is made the old traditional ways. I need a multi-grain slice, please. The cafe is quaint and very welcoming, just makes you feel right at home, whether you're ordering to go or to stay for a while. She even has a place for the younger folks to feel right at home too. We get such a great variety of customers in here and a lot of people come from Austin P because Austin P is close. We get a lot of the teachers, uh, professors, we also get a lot of students too that come in in the afternoon and just want to grab a cup of coffee and have some pastries and sit around and talk. We get a lot of German customers that come in because they missed it, obviously. A lot of people who've been to Germany or to Europe and know the atmosphere, know the food that they miss, and so for them it's kind of like a little piece of home. Well, what can you say? That's the best food in town. I mean, hello. Mm -hmm. And the best bread ever. Just like home. Just like home, honestly. Yeah. The sun. You take a lot of pride in what you do. Why is that? because it's part of me, and so as part of me, I want to make sure that we're able to give the best to the community as possible. For me, you know, if I do something, I want to make sure I do it the right way and do it all the way with all my heart and all my passion. And so that's why I learned how to do all the recipes the way they used to be done. Her love for the arts continues, 
and she supports local artists by displaying their work throughout the cafe. Now I like to combine both passions. I like to combine the art as well as the baking, uh, which is represented on the walls and in the bakery itself. So um, I love being able to support the local artists and they support us by hanging their pictures on our walls and filling the space with beauty. What we found is that while canvas may no longer be silk as medium, works of art are everywhere, from preparing food, to serving her customers, to making Silka's one of Clarksville's most popular places to visit. And when her customers leave, they just don't say goodbye. Uh, I'll fit us in, <laughs> which means we'll see you again. <laughs>